Hey, what's up, you guys? Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Forever Nightmare Bat Build a Figure Wave Robin. Got this figure from the McFarlane Toy Store. It came in not too long ago. I do really like how the figure looks so far. Get, you know, the Collector Build Nightmare Bat 204. Got the name on the side. Some artwork of the Nightmare Bat on the back. Other figures from the wave, the diagram. Robin from Batman Forever. I love how you get the Batman Forever logo at the top. <coughs> and then here's the barcode at the bottom. This should be hitting stores now. Like, it started hitting stores already, I believe. I don't remember where, but it should be hitting shelves. So let's get to it and crack them open. Robin comes with the right wing to the Nightmare Bat, and f just from this Build-A-Figure piece alone, I'm like we can already see that this bat is going to be huge. And before we get to the figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. He first comes with a basic DC Multiverse base, then a trading card, nice image of Chris O'Donnell as Robin, and then moving to the back, as you can see, it comes with a little bio. If you want to read it, pause it right now. I'm pretty sure it's just a synopsis of the movie. Out of the package, he comes with two fisted hands. If you want, you can pop these out. And then he comes with two gripping hands. But he doesn't come with anything to hold, unfortunately. So it's kind of weird that he comes with gripping hands. But it is nice nonetheless. And then he comes with a left pointing finger hand. And then a right splayed out hand, which is, you know, it's, it's got his hand open. It's all fingers are splayed out. And I like these options. It's nice. I do wish he came with a second splayed out hand. It's always nice to have an open hand like this. But a pointing hand is always nice to see. I always like seeing these gestured hands. And before we move on, I do want to mention that he does have a wired cape, which is nice to see. I do like seeing these wired capes on McFarlane figures. It's always great to see that. And as you can see, it is a two-toned cape. It's got the yellow and the black. And that's nice. It's made out of this nice thick material. And it's, you know, it actually, it's actually really nice to pose this one around. I do like the material that they use for this one. Now let's take a closer look at Robin. Starting off with the head, I gotta say, it looks nice. I really do like it. It's, you know, it does look like Chris O'Donnell. There is some paint slop on the side of the head and the front of the head, the paint doesn't, you know, it's not full with the front of that hair, but it's okay. But it does look nice. I do like it. It does look like the actor. And then bringing to the first one, it is a new head sculpt. That's nice. And I do like how they do both have, like, a different facial expression as well. So that's also nice to see that they didn't just mold a new mask on the first head. So that's really cool. Now looking at the torso... It looks great. I do like this metallic red that they used. As you can see, you got the R there. It's metallic gold and green. Nice, you know, sculpted fasteners. I I know that this body is new. It's definitely new torso. The belt is definitely new, the crotch area. The legs are definitely reused from the first one. I guess you can see they are the same thing. They have this design. I'm not sure if Robin had this design in the suit in the Batman Forever movie. I'm currently re-watching it. Uh, I haven't gotten to the part where he became Robin, but I have to um, see if these are accurate. Let's get these arms. I know these are remolded, the gauntlets from the first one. I are they're, they're actually all new, if I'm not mistaken. The hands, the fist at least, are reused. The arms are new as well from on this figure. So there's a lot of good new sculpting on this figure. And, you know, there is some reuse, but there's a lot of new sculpting to this guy as well. Now moving on to his articulation. Starting off with the head. The head is on a dumbbell joint. It can look up this much. can look down that much. can rotate all the way around. It is very stiff, the head. It can also tilt. Shoulders move up that much. They move down. They do rotate 360. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows and wrists that rotate and hinge. Torso can crunch forward that much, can crunch back that much. It's a really good arc back. Can also rotate and tilt. The leg can kick up that much, it can kick back that much. You don't get much of uh, that. Well, actually, you get more than I thought. Double jointed knees and ankles then move down, up, 
They do rotate and pivot and have toe articulation. Measuring Robin out, he comes to around seven inches tall. Here he is next to the first Chris O'Donnell as Robin. We have the Robin from Batman and Robin. And then here he is next to the Batman, forever Batman from the Batman movie six pack. And here's this new Robin up on the rotating base. And I have to say this figure is pretty cool. I do like it. <clears throat> it I do think it is a, a little better than the first Chris O'Donnell Robin from the Batman and Robin movie. Um, I do like it. Uh, I do like how the articulation flows better. It does flow better than the than the first one. I do like the accessories. Having the interchangeable hands is very nice. I can't wait to pose him up with the Batman that comes in this wave. I also can't wait for that Batman Forever Batmobile to come out. I already got my pre-order in. So yeah, this is a pretty cool figure. I like everything about it. The head the head articulation is a little stiff, but you can't but you can get it to move. I do like the cape. The cape is great. I love the two-toned cape. It's a nice thick material. Just overall, this is a great figure. If you want this figure, you can find him at BBTS. I got mine from the McFarland Toy Store. I do believe he is sold out there, but people are finding this wave in stores. I don't exactly remember what store, but people are finding them out in the wild. So hopefully you guys can find this figure. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.